Hey guys, how's it going? It's SXXLukeXX here, and today what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be showing you how to declare a um, variable in Unreal Script, edit it using Kismet, and then display it using the your custom HUD. So, to start off, I'm going to show you uh, a working version that I've already got. And this here, if you can just see in the left, uh, kind of like center left, it says 500. Uh, that's the money that I've got for this game. And to show you how it works, basically, if I kill a bot, I'll get 100. Or if I buy this tower here, I will also lose 100. Now, if you saw that, it just went down to being 400. And I'll show you if I kill some bots, it'll go up. Uh, there you go, look, 500, 700. And also, if the towers kill them, it also goes up. So I'll see if the tower kills. Look, there you go, 800, 900, 1000. So, to show you how this is being done, uh, let's have a look now. Right, I've got a custom Kismet action called take money now thing is though this can be used to take or add money because if you want to take money you just have a positive integer however if you want to add money you put a negative sign in front of that and it takes a negative amount which you know most people should understand that means you're actually adding that amount let me just what's going on here okay right okay so uh, to show you how this is being done, when I buy towers, it lets off a remote event called take 100. And now, when that event occurs, it takes 100 here from the money that's used in Kismet to tell whether I can buy towers or not. And then it also takes the amount that's being paid for the tower away from the amount that's being displayed in the HUD. Um, I can't use one variable to show the HUD and um, use it for Kismet if you understand what that means. I have to try and get them to coexist together which is actually really easy but anyway yeah. So also uh, you have to have a target for who this is happening to so I've just simply attached it to my player spawned instigator because I tried attaching it to player zero but it didn't kind of it didn't really work. I don't know why. I just find instigators are really easy. So I'll show you what's going on here. I've had to use loads of external um, uh, what's it called variables. Basically, what this is saying is after all this stuff here, if the amount of money I have is more than or equal to the cost of the tower, then I can have it. I'll buy it, and it will then take 100 from the amount of money I have. So let's go ahead and get started on this. Okie dokie. So selected. Now I'm going to create a lives function this time because that's what I need now. So, uh, just to show you the HUD, what is going on here is I have a local My Player Controller, which is described as PC. PC equals My Player Controller or Player Owner. And then I've got a canvas set position 100 by 300, by 300, and then canvas draw text, and then that's going into the player controller and the variable called money. So for this one, I'll be doing. Uh, I'll tell you what, let me just. I'm going to separate these. So this one is monies, and this one down here is going to be lives. Okay, so I'm gonna have canvas dot set position three hundred by three hundred oh, three hundred by three hundred close off. Right, okay, um you can do this bit first if you want, but I recommend you don't do this bit now. And first of all what we need to do is we need to go into our player controller. Now this is really, really, it's just easiest if you've got your own <clears throat> your own custom game setups and whatnot. If you haven't already got your own game setups, then I recommend you follow my tutorials on how to do that. Right, okay, so here I've got my class, my player controller, extends UT player controller. 
and here I've got variables for tower defense gain so I now need to make a new variable and it's an integer and this one's called lives now you can name it whatever you want it to be uh, like, I, like my other one it's money this one's going to be lives uh, and then you want to scroll down to where you start where you start doing all the functions and here you'll notice I've got two public functions I've got take money and then parentheses and now I've got sequence act take money action now what that's saying is this is being called from the action of sequence act take money class and then that's activating an event uh, this function down here called lose money by action amount I don't really fully understand this, but you just copy it, you know what I mean? So, um, yep, so I'm going to copy these two. Right, and I'll explain what you do when I've copied them. What's what? Uh -huh. Right, okay. So for you to understand this, I need to take... This is the event that gets called from here from this sequence act that we're going to make next <clears throat> oh, sorry I got a bit of a sore throat anyway so yeah so when you call this action in kismet this function will be declared and when this function is declared it tells you to activate this function so I always do if you're taking away something I always do take and then whatever as the function being called and then the next function I always put it as lose uh, it just seems to make everything easier and then this thing here is a variable called amount so this is saying that lose money action amount yeah so uh, that's saying the amount of money that you're going to lose is declared in the action as amount so that's the name of the variable and you can also see that down here it says int amount uh, look, I've also put money uh, minus equals amount so take life I need to change this to lose life Lose. Oh, I put live. Life. Didn't notice that. Need to go ahead and change all them. Oh, lives. Lose life. Lose life. Oh, plenty of. Uh, give me one sec, guys. I'm just getting a phone. Hey, guys. I'm back. Um, I can't remember where we were. Oh, yes. Yeah, so I was just saying about the live thing. So. Yep, so you should have public function take and then or add whatever you're taking right in. Uh, you're better off just following mine. So, public function take life sequence act take money action. Uh, and then you've got these curly brackets here lose life brackets action dot amount. Then I'm going down here to the next one, which I'm calling lose life. And then here, I'm declaring that the variable lives is being reduced by the amount. So if you've got that, then um, we could proceed to the next bit. By the way, guys, if I'm confusing you all, because this is kind of confused, it's taken me a week to get to this actually working, just let me know down in the comments, uh, and I'll sort you out with whatever problems you're having. Oh, and just one more thing. I'm using numbers, not bars, on this. Um, I'm using a string of text because the tutorial that I've got this off uses um, bars to display everything because it uses like life and XP. And I really don't like that. I wanted mine to be in strings. So, yeah, I had to alter it, and that's why it's taken me so long. So, the next thing we're going to do now is we're going to create our sequence action. I'm just going to keep that one open in case I need it. Um, right, here we go. Look, if you look here, I've got sequence act give XP and sequence act take money. So I'm going to copy this one. I'm going to paste it. I'm going to rename it to take life. I believe that one was right. Yep. Yeah. Oh, oh, I just realized I need to change that here as well to sequence act take life. That would make more sense. Um, yep, yeah, that's all good. Okay, okay. So now, in here, you should have class sequence act take life 
extends sequence action. Uh, here I believe you can change this to event or condition and that will affect which group it in, what group it's in. And also you can add another line down here called object category and that will put it in a different category, you know, like you have math functions and um, player functions and all that kind of thing, pawn functions. So this here, as you can see, it says name that will appear in Kismet. Oh, first of all, you need to declare your variable and then parentheses int amount. So that, here you go, that amount of life this action will take. Uh, name that will appear in the kismet. I'm going to call it take life. And the handler name, this is what I was saying earlier, this is the event that gets called. Uh, call that take life. Now, you should be fine so far. And then what this is saying is, you leave this blank, by the way, because this gets changed in kismet as told by this little line of things here. Basically what this is saying is to make a variable link and to expect it to be an integer call uh, the link description it will be called amount you can write over it and its property name is amount. So now that we've got that you would now go back into your HUD and do what I did earlier. Um, DDA HUD. Oh, it's there. Uh, now what you'd write is you'd write event post render. Then you'd write uh, you'd open open close parentheses open curly brackets local my player controller space PC semicolon. Next line PC equals my player controller open parentheses player owner with a P and a no in capital letters close parentheses and a semicolon so now what that said is that you're now eligible to take variables from your player controller class and obviously if you've named your player controller something else you'll just have to change it here in the local and this bit here and before you say what's the point in declaring it's PC why can't you just do it as my player controller I tried doing that, but then when you compile it, you get an error telling you that's not right and that you're naughty for trying to do that. Next thing you do is you want to declare your canvas position. I put mine in 100 by 300. And then what you want to do is you want to canvas dot draw text, open parentheses, PC, and there you go, that is declared, dot lives I believe mine was semicolon save now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run run my UDK and rebuild my scripts now I'll have absolutely loads of errors by the way because of my game mode so just ignore all of them I'll only highlight out any important ones that may come across right 15 that seems about right it's two scar ones UDK, UDK, UDK. Yep, okay, all's good. Close that. Now I sh I'll show you that I'll have a kismet uh, function and I will also have a lives variable. Now one thing I haven't showed you to do, which I might quickly show you afterwards depending on how much time... No, I won't. Because I've actually got to finish this in a second. Quick, jungle. It's not really much of a jungle, but here we I'll quickly show you, play the game, look, I've got 500 and I've got zero. I probably should have set um, lives to actually have an amount, but hey, huh. if you do that, you do that in my player controller, by the way. Uh, you can do it here, but still. You'd ha uh, So if you go into action now, you'll notice that you'll have a function called whatever you've called it. So I'm going to quickly show you really, really quickly, really, really quickly. Take life. I'm going to give this a negative amount so it goes up. Four, and I'm actually going to loop it so you can see that it's live. I'm going to give it an active delay of one second. Now, if I show you, 
oh, I forgot to put minus. But anyway, look, there you go. It's uh, changing its amount uh, in Kismet, and it's being shown up on your hood. HUD, sorry. So using this, you can just adapt it like I've done and uh, use it however you want. Just showing you my money again goes down. So yeah, there you go. Any problems, just let me know anything I've left out because I've kind of had to rush this. Uh, just message me and please don't forget to like and subscribe.